Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Marivox and in today's video we're going to be expanding the house for Evie Bennett. She is the sim that um, is in the Rags to Riches challenge, the original Rags to Riches challenge. This is the third expansion of her house. Um, on In our last video, which was for, for Rags to Riches, which was I think episode 17, we made it to our third goal, which was 15,000 simoleons. We actually made it just past 15,000 simoleons. Um, I think we got almost to 17,000. So we, we probably could have pushed forward to 20. And I had a, a commenter say that, you know, that's what we should do just to go ahead and knock out the um, lifetime aspiration. But I don't know. I'd already said that I was going to, to build this and expand it at 15,000. I'd been saying that. And I, when I, I feel like if, if I make a promise like that I and I don't, I feel like I've broken a promise or something like I've gone back on my word and I just you know I've I'd already claimed that I, this is what I was going to do so this is this is what we're doing um I I kept with the same like build style so it's still the southern cape style um and I like I told you guys in the last couple of episodes of rags to riches like I think in episode 16 and episode 17 um, I had a whole bunch of ideas for what to do, and I may have been a little bit optimistic with how far the funds could stretch. Um, they didn't stretch nearly as far as I thought they would. But I did move the, um, I, I know you guys noticed that I moved the master bedroom and the master bathroom kind of out of the main house. Um, and I know they're kind of like floating out here right now. Uh, that does change. I got to finally use the door I wanted to use, a really nice um I think it was from Seasons, but it's super cheap and it's really nice. And y'all probably just noticed that, but you can place doors and windows on the half tiles. This is not new information. Um, that was in, in an update right before Eco Lifestyle came out, but it's still awesome that you can do that. And I love that you can do that. So now all my doors are centered and it looks symmetrical and nice on the outside. And I, um, I like things to look to look like that, to look kind of like they, they, they're they well put together. Um, so I just moved the bedroom and the master bathroom over here. Now I'm working on the studio. That's that little room that I just put the door on. Um, that's the studio. Now that whole outcropping, I add an expansion on the second floor above that. And I'm thinking of making that the studio. And I, I'm not gonna, I don't think I do it. Actually, I might. Do I do it yet? No, I don't think I do it yet. I think I, um, expand all of the the gables and stuff first and then I go to that side so I ended up making these gables actually pretty wide so they're they're two so two wide on that the two outside ones are two wide and the one in the middle is three wide um so they're they're really nice and they they have plenty of room so you can I feel like the the one wide ones are just they're they're kind of like a waste of space so I wasn't able to do much with them now that they're two wide and three wide, I can actually use them. They can be a place where I put a desk or a dresser or a bathtub or, you know, whatever. So um, I have more space to, to work with upstairs. Also, this house is kind of big, not to, not going to lie. And I did mention earlier that I was a little optimistic with how far I thought the funds could stretch. I had mentioned like wanting to put a pool in the background, in the backyard or um, doing some landscaping. But because I had spent so much money and so much time actually expanding the house, um, I ended up not having enough funds for anything else. I did also update furniture, which you'll see in a bit. Um, but the house is pretty big. So in future expansions, I don't think I'm going to make the house any bigger or add anything to it. This this outside, the exterior, what it looks like on the outside is what it's pretty much going to stay looking like. Um, but when I when we reach the the 20,000 simoleon goal, which is the, the next goal, we're going to be focusing more on getting the furniture updated um, and working on the landscaping because I don't do a lot of landscaping in this video I pretty much just move those bushes right there on the like to the left of the house um, not the garden but the bushes that were right right there with the hydrangeas I move those to the front um, right now I'm working I'm reworking the upstairs uh, layout because the layout I had come up with didn't actually work anymore and I had to putz around a lot with the um, how I wanted the stairs to go and um, you know, where everything was going to be. So it ended up being completely different than what I originally had it. And I don't know if y'all noticed, this is when I'm doing the expansion up top. So this room that I'm making right here, 
This I'm thinking on actually turning into the studio and just having that whole bottom part of that, that outcropping just be the entire master suite. So just completely take off where the studio is and put the bathroom there and make the, the master bedroom a little bit bigger. Um, that's what I'm thinking of doing, just switching that around a little bit. Right now it's a bedroom, so it may not stay that way. Um, I had also talked about in a recent video, I can't remember if it was episode thir or 16 or 17, it, it was one of those two because it was, it was relatively recent, um, that I had some ideas for the foyer. And I haven't started working on it yet. Right now I'm still putting the ground with the windows, but I think I'm about to. Yeah, I'm about to. So as you can see, I'm messing around. That It's like a five by five square. That's the foyer. And I made it bigger for a reason. I wanted to have special staircases. And I mean two. <laughs> so I wanted to have like like almost a looping so they, they kind of connect. So you'll see it in just a second while I'm kind of putting around with these. Um, like that, but instead of being two apart, they're going to be one apart. And so they kind of mirror each other, but it makes it, I feel like it makes the foyer look really dramatic. And I really like how that turned out. Um, I end up drawing a three, three tile wall between the two stairs there. I, that may not stay there. I may change that into like an archway just to have a line from the front to the back end of the house so that you don't have to go through the sides and into the back that way. Um, just cause I feel like that, that going around the sides is really roundabout and and it takes too long and I don't feel like that it should be that long so I'm thinking of making that an archway into the kitchen since the kitchen is going to be at the back of the house um, so the right now this is the floor plan for the upper floor I do take out this floor here because I want it to be open to the foyer so you get to the top of the stairs and you can see into where the where people come into the house and then again I thought that that made it look really dramatic and I really liked the I, I feel like the more money she earns the more dramatic her house should be and um so this is basically the skeleton of the house um the shell if you if you will um it's not really a shell because there's a lot going on with it but I wanted the I, this is the shell is not going to change. This is going to be what it's going to be. And then the interior is going to change and the, the um, exterior as in like the, again, the, the landscaping, what the backyard and the front yard are going to look like. That's what's going to change with future expansions. Um, I did the same kind of roofing situation on the expansion over there as I did on this side. But because the gable is shorter, it kind of changed the angle of the roofs a bit. So the top looks the same as everywhere else, but the um, the roofing by, by the gable couldn't be this too wide. And I don't realize that yet. I'm still thinking like I can operate with the too wide, um, but it's not going to work like that. So yeah, I end up fixing it, but it, it, it does have to be one wide with a with a one wide like long piece like I do. I have um, over the those wide porches. I don't know what happened to the roof there. I Y'all probably saw it just now disappear. I have no idea what happened to it. It, it just... I, I noticed later that that was that it disappeared and I don't even know how that happened so yeah anyway this is where I realized that those two wide long pieces next to the gables for those roofs are not gonna work so I fix it and it kind of messes up the angle I have to make it a much steeper angle so it, it makes it look kind of weird but eh, I don't know I, I don't think it it matters or makes it weird enough that it it made it ugly I think now that side looks a little bit more um, northern cape rather than southern cape because it has more of that that barn look to it um not to say that barn looks are bad i'm just saying that is a a uh, architectural style or an architectural look to the northern cape style whereas the southern cape is usually one extended like length it, it doesn't have several different angles but with the sims it's a little bit hard to do that um not to say that uh, I don't I don't feel like this this build would be any easier to make in a separate Sims game. Sims 4 has the best build mode of any Sims games that have come out. Um it is easy to use at least for me um and it's easy to learn. So I've been I've been watching a ton of videos trying to understand the different mechanics of it and I think I've kind of figured it out. So here I am moving these bushes to the front. Um, again, I'm using that trick that I learned from Little Simsy to have those like these bushes here kind of be a barrier to where the garden is going to be and then kind of fill in that space with other foliage. Um, I'm not. That is another thing that's going to change, actually. Once I get the landscaping done. This is going to be on a foundation, so it's going to be raised up off the ground. 
it's not raised up off the ground yet because um, you can't, it's, it's kind of hard to place vegetation up next to where the, um, where the foundation will be. It's easier now than it used to be since they did have that, they sent out that fix a little while ago, but I still like to be able to put the, the bushes and the foliage and the flowers like literally right up next to the foundation. And if you get too close, it jumps up a bit. Again, it's, it's not as bad as it used to be. You can still get close to it. Um, but I, I just, I'm going to wait until I have all the foliage done. So earlier, you probably saw me got ri get rid of all of the uh, gross kitchen stuff that Evie had forever. Um, and I'm replacing it with this new kitchen. I'm using the Parenthood countertops, which I'm using the the blue, like the, the blue cabinets with the, or like they're white cabinets actually, but like the blue counters with the, the white countertops. Um, just because I, I needed, I wanted a spark of color in here. I, I felt like there wasn't enough color. Um, and I really like the blue and the white together. I think that looks really cute. But it's a little bit bigger, um, has a sink actually. Her original kitchen didn't even have a sink in it. She washed all of her dishes in the bathroom. Um, and I like that this floor plan is also open. So it's, I mean, open in the sense that there aren't, <laughs> there's not walls segregating everything, um, but it's not open and, it's not necessarily open floor plan. Open floor plan, you can see from one end of the house to the other without barriers. Um, and you can't necessarily do that. So again, I am thinking of just kind of reworking where everything is placed, but I like where everything is now. So this is going to be like the dining area. Um, that's probably not going to move. I think the kitchen is probably going to move to a, a corner of the house. Um, this back corner where the uh, studio is. So if I move the studio upstairs and expand the master bedroom, then I'll move the kitchen to that corner and I'll change that little like one tile between the two stairs into uh, like not a, like a doorway into the kitchen or the, the back of the house. So you don't have to go from like around in a circle to get to the back of the house just because that wastes time. So right now I'm, I'm doing a little trick because you can't alt place things on top of a counter. So I put those items on the counter, then move the counter. And when I moved the counter, those items went with it. So then I could drag them back and alt place them where I wanted them to go in that area. And that works, but you can't alt place items on a counter. They like have lock system, like a lock place where they can go. So I needed to, I needed to putz with that a little bit. Um, I'm using some eco lifestyle stuff. I actually got a new pack or several new packs a couple weeks ago, stuff packs when they were having that sale. Um, so I had got the bowling night stuff pack, the Moschino stuff pack and the romantic garden stuff pack. So I'm using some new items that I haven't used before. It's like you just saw me put that uh, shelf down. That's from eco lifestyle. Um, some of those chairs at the dining table are from bowling night, uh, again, which is new, not well, new to me anyway. Um, and I wanted to put this globe in there. I love that little, it's, it's a kind of a miniature bar for, for you juice fanatics. Um, cause I feel like that could be a good skill for Evie to learn. Uh, and it's a good place for her to do it. I also, I didn't put the, the studio downstairs just isn't very big. So another kind of reason for me to put the studio or like move the studio upstairs into that third bedroom upstairs is to give me room for like a woodworking table because she doesn't have um she doesn't have the handiness skill or at least not enough to upgrade her items and I don't know if you guys noticed but earlier in the video you could see like another little sim out in like just in the front yard she looks like she's scanning something well um a neighborhood action plan pass I didn't participate in any voting in my recent let's play it just kind of I let it run its course just to see what would happen. And um, the neighborhood action plan that passed was the eco-friendly appliances, which is what is what we got passed for our eco lifestyle. Let's play. Anyway, when you don't have um, eco-friendly appliances in your house, you get a fine. So she's out there. She came to the house like right at the end of last week's episode to, to kind of see if we have any upgrades on our appliance to make them eco-friendly. Well, you need special um, items to upgrade an appliance to any eco-friendly upgrades. You need the, the eco upgrade parts. You also need to have at least a handiness skill of two, which Evie doesn't have. So getting the woodworking table and working on, you know, increasing that skill would be really a good idea. But I did get a couple of other things for that um, for that area, uh, for the studio, so there, it's not just the easel in there. I did get a couple other items that were kind of art-centered, um, and I 
I, right now I'm trying to figure out rugs. I think, I, it's, yeah, that's the rug I go with. So I kind of went with more of a turquoise theme, like in the house itself. I changed the, her bedroom back to more like purple. That bed doesn't stay there. Um, I, yeah, I think I change it. Yeah, I change it right here. So I get, I think, an island living bed because they had the really nice purple swatches. So, you know, I just, I love that purple swatch. It's so pretty. Anyway, um, I think I'm still, uh, no, I'm getting a shelf because there's that big wall. I didn't want to put a lot of artwork down um, because she's going to be doing painting. And again, I'm going to be keep, I'm, I'm going to do more of like keeping paintings that I like or that I think should go in her house um, rather than selling them. So, you know, anyway, you just saw me put this desk in there. So that desk has a camera and one of those um, uh, drawing tablets so that she can make more electronic art. She can start learning the photography skill and start taking portraits of people because I really want her house to also be filled with, you know, pictures of, of people she knows and loves. I think that's, you know, really important and to make it more personalized. Um, these curtains are from Eco Lifestyle. I really, I, I thought the, the green and the turquoise was really nice and I thought it went with the decor of what I had planned so far. These are all subject to change. I, I don't know if I like the ones in on this side of the house as much as I like the ones um, on the dining room kitchen side of the house just because those are those are a little bit more neutral. These curtains, while they're pretty, I feel like might be a little loud for everything, but I also went really more sedate with the colors of the furniture itself. So it's not overpowering right now, but again, those are subject to change, especially when I get to the point where um, we've done the 20,000 a simoleon goal and we're updating furniture and making things look more fancy and more lived in um i think right now i'm just kind of finalizing decorations and you know making sure that lights are put in places i'm putting oh i know what i'm looking for right here is that little blanket thing nope those are cookbooks um the, the blanket thing that came with eco lifestyle that that little just add-on they don't have enough just like living room decor items i feel like you there could be more they have you know the magazine rack and they have the you know the the one magazine and like the mail or whatever but I feel like they could have more just like pictures or more things you'd see in a living room so I'm really glad they added that that basket for blankets because I don't know what living room doesn't have a basket I have a basket for blankets literally sitting next to one of my couches um I love blankets they're just so comfortable um so I wanted to do more changes in this bathroom but I ended up running out of money so and I took away the university shower. I wanted to have like a real walled in shower. So, but I also wanted to have a tub and this will be better when I, when I make that bathroom bigger, that's going to be the one thing I think I changed with the house. Once I move the studio upstairs right now, it's going to stay like this for a little while. But once I move the studio upstairs, um, and use this entire outcropping here, this entire expansion on, on this side of the house for the master suite, then I think it will, you know, kind of come together. Um, so yeah, the, I couldn't get, I, I wanted the, the shower head to be on the side of the wall and I want the bathtub to kind of go in that, that empty two, two area over there. Anyway, so I believe we only have like 30 seconds left of this video roughly, um, or at least of the, the speed build recording. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and as always thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs>